It's mid-October 2024 and Comet Atlas is in the western sky. I absolutely love chasing comets. We had Comet Neowise back in 2020. That was really one of the last great photogenic comets. Comet Atlas is our next chance. We're heading off deep into the uh, wildlife refuge north of NASA's Kennedy Space Center for a nice dark sky, good view to the west. Should be really exciting. What makes that comet so challenging is that you're kind of constantly changing camera settings. You're trying to figure out the best way to pop the tail, to pop the core of the comet as well. We're gonna have more details that will come out like a anti-tail or an ion tail that will start showing up as well uh, in due time the later that we get into the month of October. So a lot of different challenges. And of course, you can start playing with foreground, getting different types of foreground and all that inside of an image. So really looking forward to playing with this. Talk about a beautiful spot for comet hunting. We're gonna try two different shots tonight. One, we're gonna track it with kind of a telephoto lens as it goes to the sky. Nothing too fancy, but we're also gonna try and play with some of these palm trees to kind of get some really cool shots with the comet. I think between these two leftmost palm trees might be kind of the play, kind of a more artistic approach. We got a lot of stuff we can kind of work with here. I'm really excited for this. So we're gonna have to set up the tracker. We have a tracker to actually track the uh, comet as it goes to the night sky and a few different camera tripods as well. We have our tracker right here. We need to make sure that wherever we place it, we have a view to the north for the North Star. I can already see Venus kind of popping out here in the southwestern part of the sky, so now we're getting close. We'll do this pretty quick. The camera that we're gonna be trying to utilize today, Canon SL2, and we're gonna be utilizing a 50 millimeter F1.8 lens. Um, I used this for NeoEyes and it actually worked really well, even though it's more of a portrait lens. If you turn the f-stop up to maybe 2 to 2.2, it is certainly sharp enough for deeper astrophotography. And of course, your f-stop is low enough. So we're going to try and quickly find the North Star and start tracking. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I can turn this light off to get the bugs away from me. Now in the night sky, we can already see Venus there off to the west. And so the comet will be to the right or basically more to the west of where Venus is. I think it's gonna probably be almost between where these two palm trees are. It should be popping out right here. I know I can fit Venus as well as the comet inside the same uh, 35 millimeter frame. So it should be right about there. All right, and then we power very much power our tracker with a Jackery power unit. There we go, tracking nice guy. the palm tree. All right, so let's go comet hunting. On video, cranking the ISO all the way up and the aperture all the way down. I can already see it kind of drop in between these two palm trees here. I can't see it with the naked eye, but just looking at camera, I can tell it's like right here, right? Somewhere right in there. I can see it on the camera so clearly. Oh, I can actually just start seeing it now with the eye. Very faint, like a smudge, a smudge in the sky, but I can, I can see it right there. It's like, right there. Wow, 
what a shot there. That's so cool. between the two trees there. I'm swapping SD cards right now. But we got a nice shot. Our other camera just clicking away over here. I'm gonna wrap this real quick. Kind of get like a little bit more of an artistic track with this one. And a part of the test is playing with different camera settings to see what pops it out the most. It seems like about three seconds with an F2 exposure. I said, oh, about 1600, seems to really pop it out pretty well. One problem I'm facing is that the moon out here is a real killjoy. It is uh, making it pretty difficult to do some long exposure night shots, so we're having to deal with that, but I just love the symmetry of the shot here. Shoot about three seconds, F2, and about 1600 ISO. We'll continue to play with this shot here.